Hi, this is Steve from Mixmedics.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at organizing your audio units into folders in Logic Pro 10. In previous versions of Logic, if you had a lot of third-party audio unit plugins, it could sometimes be very frustrating to try and find the one you needed in amongst a long list. Luckily, with the new version of Logic, 10.1, we're now able to rearrange our plugins into folders, either the ones that Logic uses for its own plugins or ones that we choose ourselves. Let's take a look how to do that. Now, for many years, Logic has used category folders to organize its own effects into EQ or Dynamics. But when it came to our third-party audio units, we were always stuck with manufacturer folders. And in the case of a company like Universal Audio, that list could be really long and tricky to find the one you needed. But now, if we go to the top left-hand corner into the Logic Pro menu, into Preferences, and down to the Plugin Manager, we can now use the same set of category folders on the left that Logic uses to organize our own plugins. If I scroll down the left-hand side, I can find, let's do Universal Audio. Then I need to scroll back up the left-hand side so that I can see the categories we're going to use. Now, I can scroll through my list of Universal Audio plugins, find a plugin I use a lot, the Fairchild 670 in this case, and just drag that over into Dynamics. Now, if I check that Dynamics folder, we've now got the Fairchild in amongst all of the Logic plugins that we're used to. Now, if there's any of these Logic plugins we don't use very often, you can tidy this list up by removing them. So for instance, I don't use the expander very often, so I just select it, tap delete, and off it goes. Same with the noise gate and the surround compressor. Now, there's nothing to worry about. We haven't deleted those plugins from the system, as we'll see in a minute. But this just means that this Dynamics folder is now starting to become a bit neater and just focuses in on the effects that we use day to day. So another thing we can do is to search for the plugins that we, we use a lot. So I'm going to do a search for LA2A. And this is one I use a lot. And I'm also going to put that into the Dynamics folder. So I scroll up the left and drag that across. Now, when I go into Dynamics now, it looks like it's the only one in there. But that's because I'm searching here in the top right-hand corner. If I clear that search term, we can see all of the effects that are in that folder. Once we're finished, we just click Done down the bottom right. And when we look back in our Dynamics folder, there's the plugins that we use regularly. Now, I said the Logic ones haven't been deleted. The old structure has been moved to the bottom here. So there's the old Dynamics folder that Logic used to use. So these have now become kind of our, our favorites, our presets, if you like. Now, that's going to be useful to start to organize our plugins into categories. But you might want to get to your favorite plugins even quicker. We can do that by making our own folders. If we go back to the Preferences and the Plugin Manager, now, where it says Category here at the top, there's a little plus button. If we click that, we can make our own folders. I'm going to call that Favorites. Now, at the moment, it's partway down the list. So if we rename that with a number one in front of it, it's not very pretty, but it does put it to the top of the list, which is going to save us a lot of time in scrolling. And just like we did before, we can go into the plugins that we use a lot. So let's try some Waves ones. I use the C4 quite a lot. So we just drag that into Favorites. Now, you also use the DSer a lot. So again, I'm going to drag that in. Once you finish, you just click Done. And now when we go into our plugins list, the ones we use the most often are at the top. Now, some plugins such as Waves have mono and stereo versions, and it's worth dragging both of those into your favorites folders so you have them both available depending on which kind of track you use. Now, this is really worth trying out. If you get your plugins into favorites folders, it will save you a lot of time in your working day, and it will really help you to concentrate on making music rather than looking for plugins. Give it a try and let us know in the comments below how you get on. If you need to perfect any stage of your production or mixing process, book an online session at mixmedics.com. We use a combination of screen sharing and a high quality audio link to enable us to hear exactly what's coming out of your studio in real time from anywhere in the world. You can have an experienced audio professional advise you one-to-one -one, every step of the way at mixmedics.com.